What's good, you guys? It's Carolina J. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, as you guys see by the title, you guys already know what we're doing today. Like, you guys already know what we're doing today. If y'all, if y'all keep seeing me look over here, my sister right here. You know, she's spying on me, making sure that I uh, pull through this video, y'all. But I just want to get put out a huge shout out to you guys for giving me a long care. I just want to say thank you guys so much. It kind of, it doesn't, it, it doesn't kind of mean a lot. It really means a lot because, like, <laughs> let me, you got to stay real, y'all. But I just want to say thank you guys so much. It really means a lot. Um... I posted that video, I want to say, three weeks ago, and I should have been posted an updated video, y'all, but I've, I've had strep, so not too much on me, but I feel like I'm talking too much. I just want to, you know, say thank you guys so much. It really means a lot, and y'all really motivated me to keep pushing and put out another video, so that's what we're going to do, and that's what we're doing right now, but I'm done talking, but don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the post notification button to be notified whenever I post a video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah. All right, y'all, so in today's video, we're going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. Just a quick little video because I know that I haven't uploaded since my last video, which has been, I'm going to say around three weeks to a month. Um, I think I already mentioned not too much. I mean, y'all, I had strip, but this is a quick little video to be posted because I do have a couple other videos posted, you know, that I want to get out this month because, you know, it's my birthday month, so... That's the biggest thing that I'm really worried about, um, that, but yeah, let's really get into this, y'all. I don't want to talk too much. Um, as my home screen, um, it's just me and y'all, this phone is not iOS 16. Um, the phone that I'm filming on right now is iOS 16, but this phone isn't just because I want to, I'm not ready to update it yet because I'm not ready for y'all to be trying to, um, unsend y'all messages and all that extra stuff. Yeah, I'm not ready for that yet. But as soon as we open the phone, the two widgets that you guys see is the weather app. Don't look at my location. And um, my music app, which is, it says mood because, you know, when I get in that mood, when I get in that mood, y'all, I might want to listen to me some future. You know what I'm saying? Just when I get in that mood. Um, we also, at the top um, left corner, Top right corner, y'all. It's um, calendar, camera, Apple Store, and weather. Um, just the typical basic, you know, apps that comes on the phone. Then we also have clock, photos, settings, FaceTime, and music. The other just normal essentials that come on the phone. And then we have productivity. And productivity, we have notes. Um, I do use notes because if I want to, like, you know, type out plans or just, you know, you know, video plans or whatever, I type it in my notes. Um, nine times out of ten, um, like ideas or whatever. Wallet, very essential. Um, I feel like I use it a little too much though, y'all, because I feel like every place, you know, it is 2023, so I feel like every store should have Apple Pay. And if you don't, you know, like what are you doing? I just feel like it's essential. And you know, I have got humbled a little bit because I have went to places and that they don't have that that didn't have Apple Pay and it kind of humbled me a little bit because I don't bring my card anywhere with me. Um, my mom be telling me I need a wallet and my boyfriend be telling me that I need a wallet, y'all, but I just feel like that's so 1970s. Like if you don't have Apple Pay, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Um, files, files is just, I don't know, like um, when you export, um, export or import, you know, your stuff from a, your camera or whatever. And I just use files because I have a lot of stuff that I get offline and it goes into my files, whatever, that I might need, like fonts or whatever. Um, we have Buy My iPhone Health. I don't know if you girls knew this. It's a little TMI if you're a guy watching this, but um, the Health app actually uh, tracks your period. Um, that's something that I did not know. And so I want to say like the end of last year, I found that out um, that you could track your period on the Health app. I didn't know that. Um, that's like, I don't know, like, that's a little TMI for dudes watching, but yeah, that's that's a cool look. It, it works too, y'all. Like, I'm gonna say, like, 
very very i'm not gonna say don't get a period tracker but you can always use the health app then we have maps we have mail i don't really use mail like that only because um i have gmail but i do have like different things that come to my icloud so i just keep the app because i always find myself deleting the app and then i'll need the app because i do delete apps that i don't need um we also have calculator and voice memos i have like a it's like when i don't have it on my phone i need it but when i have it on my phone i don't need it so i just kept it on there so the day i need it because i don't have time to keep downloading and undownloading the app um on our second page of productivity we have telly if you know you know i'm not trying to out anyone but if you have telly you know what it's used for it's used for many different things but yeah not too much not go not really go say too much um we have the flow app which is my official period tracker app y'all i'm not gonna go into the app because tmi but yeah then we also have sub count um if you are a youtuber i feel like it's kind of like an essential app um as y'all see that i have 1.4k um once again thank you guys so much like it really means a lot i really can't it's just like i really can't believe it for real but i can't believe it because y'all made it happen so y'all know we locked in for real yeah so um like if you are a youtuber when you, when you first get the app it'll just like say youtube channel and um just say not i can't spell it'll just pop up the youtube channel um your youtube channel and you can refresh it or whatever um you know it's just i feel like it's very essential if you do want to start a youtube channel or you know if you already have it um and then i have vpn which you know just in case i want to go undercover but i know y'all but for real my school be tripping like why would you turn the wi-fi off but you know we gonna always find a way around that and we did so but everybody that go to school know you gotta have a vpn um yeah um we have reports followers y'all um i have this because i get a lot of people that try to follow me and then i follow them back and then they unfollow me and you know just keep me in their followers and you know i kind of caught on to that so yes i found me a nice little app because i beat him if i'm stuck in y'all's followers and y'all unfollow me be for real so yes i be tracking and i be unfollowing y'all because y'all got me messed up y'all do um and then y'all we have snapchat um i don't really be on snapchat for real um it's kind of like just for the camera i will say like everyone uses it for the camera i look kind of bad y'all but i feel like snapchat is just on my phone just to be on my phone just for the camera like i said um lock it lock it was kind of cool last year um uh, but it's not as cool now i will say the only cool thing about it is you know you can take cute little cute little pictures send it to your friends or whatever it's real cool um i do like lock it because i feel like it gets the best pictures my opinion um uh, and it's kind of fun you can do it with your friends and then i have the ps app the psn app or whatever um i don't play the game but um i have a game so it's kind of like it's not really essential but i have it on my phone um and then on to the finance app finance widget y'all whatever whatever folder whatever y'all want to call it um we have zelle only because i found myself like i felt like zelle was like an old people thing but no it's not an old people thing y'all everybody uses zelle and it's like real efficient um so there we go we got our zelle um afterpay it's real cool um i feel like i've used afterpay once or twice um it's just like it splits your payments down or whatever it's kind of efficient sometimes and then we have cash app um i have a love hate relationship with cash app because one minute y'all want to take my money the next minute y'all want to be you know keep my money but i don't know how to feel about cash app like y'all really got me whatever whatever then we have retail therapy um we have etsy if you don't have etsy i feel like it's something that you should you know not invest in but you should download the app because most of the things that you find on etsy you're not gonna find nowhere else and you might even find it like a little cheaper too 
so download the app um we have essence i feel like i find myself going online for it too much just to like get the clothing when they have the app um so it's just like name brand stuff same thing with farfetch name brand things or whatever um y'all i'm not logged into any of these apps as you see but they have all types of stuff like all types of stuff same thing with farfetch um just designer apps designer things i'm not in here at all um see there you go some palm angels you know whatever 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 you need some valentinos i was at a queen whatever y'all need y'all can just get it get it on here for the low a little bit you know what i'm saying it might not be for the low but yeah then we have fashion over amazon P pretty little thing nike sheen goat pink and shop if y'all don't know what shop is um i know y'all know what all the other apps are but if y'all don't know what shop is shop just kind of like um tracks your i want to say tracks your um your packages and stuff it makes it way easier so it's just an app where you could you know all you got to do is put the tracking number in or the you know the item number and all your packages you could just track all your packages so i feel like that's super cool super efficient you know you could get it you need to get it yeah and then we have low vibrations y'all um i'm looking a little big right now because you know i got a whole whole folder with food but not too much Y'all just keep popping up and y'all know it's been a minute because my hair was freshly done and now it look a little, yeah. But we have Starbucks because I find it funny how um, I go to Starbucks all the time and you can collect your points and I, I'm the only one that's not collecting my points. So trust, I had to get that. Um, we have DoorDash. <sighs> y'all, ever since I invested into that Dash Pass, y'all not gonna catch me off, off DoorDash at all. Uber Eats had me messed up that one time, but best believe we on we on to DoorDash. Chick Fil A, I used to work at Chick Fil A, y'all, um, and I really never really cared about the app until I worked there because I see how much people used it, and it's cool, or whatever, you know. Maybe you might get a free um, spicy chicken deluxe with pepper jack cheese one day. Maybe you might get you a spicy chicken deluxe with Kobe jack cheese. You never know. American cheese, you know. They might just bless you one day. Then we have the Chipotle app, y'all. Um, and y'all hear my stomach growling if y'all don't, but I hear it. Um, I have the Chipotle app because Chipotle just, Chipotle just good. It's just good. Me and my sister both agree Chipotle just good. Ain't that right? Yeah, it's good. Um, and then Crumble Cookie. We ate Crumble Cookie like once or twice. I want to say, well, I want to say once. And it was mid, y'all. Like it was super mid. See how they see how they keep trying to play around. Oh, they got all the locations on here. Oh, we're gonna like these cookies look kind of nasty. I'm not gonna lie, but that's not our business because we're not eating them this week. So, yeah. Um, and then we have education. Um, I have my school app. You know, to go check my grades, or whatever. Um. We also, we have Mathway, Brandly, Socratic. I don't really use Mathway anymore because I don't have math anymore. Um, but Socratic, Brandly, I don't really use it anymore. We have GroupMe, which is really like for my track, y'all. Um, my coach, he puts updates in there. Same thing for rank one. Um, it's just for track. Um, and then we have photos and videos, which is like editing, like an editing folder. Um, I have Canva. That's where I make my thumbnails on because a lot of you guys were asking, where, did I, where do I edit on? Um, that was like, I want to say a most asked question, which is what do I use to edit? Um, to make my thumbnails, thumbnails, I use Canva and Fonto. Um, Fonto is just for the fonts, literally. Um, making a couple more edits on there. I feel like that's all Fonto is for, that I use it for. Um, that's really it. I did make my intro on Canva and CapCut. Yeah, a lot of you guys are asking how did I make my intro. I made it on Canva and CapCut. Um, and I edit on CapCut. So my first video I edited on, I edited on CapCut. Um, I do know a whole bunch of different, um, I want to say, apps to use. But CapCut was the most recommended for beginners. So if you are a beginner and you are planning on starting a YouTube channel, um, these apps that you see in here are very, you know, beginner friendly. Um, Lens Buddy, y'all, 
lens buddy is just like you could take i feel like it's used for because i haven't used it at all but you i think you use it you know to take your own pictures yeah you take your own pictures or whatever um you just set a timer oh i look bad i look super bad but yeah, Lens Buddy, you just set a timer and it takes your own photos. So, you know, you don't ever have to ask somebody to take your photos because you can take them yourself. Retouch is just say like, I'm taking a picture. I take a picture and this bed is in the background. All of the bed could be gone. So it's just like you can go in, make little edits, make little changes or whatever. You know, and then y'all know Facetune. Everybody needs a little Facetune in their life. You know, you want to edit a little photo. Maybe you got some, you know, dark marks under your eyes, eye bags. You can fix it with Facetune, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so and then we have travel. I don't really travel, y'all. Um, I don't like traveling. I don't do plans. I don't do any of that. I don't like road trips. Traveling is just not for me. But I want I want to travel so much. I want to go so many places. But I'm afraid of planes. I'm afraid of doing this and this and that. But the only things that I have under travel is Uber and Airbnb. <laughs> y'all, I've stayed in an Airbnb. I want to say once or twice but airbnbs are very efficient you know i'm thinking about getting a little airbnb for my birthday i don't know yet i don't know yet and y'all was talking about how i was abusing my sister in uh my video the last video i wasn't abusing her y'all she just be in the way she's being away and she need to get out the way sometimes and you know yeah she need to get her ass out of the way then we just have phone, um, YouTube studios, Safari, and messages. I feel like if you are a YouTuber or upcoming YouTuber, um, a lot of you guys ask me, um, what are you know what are some apps? The um, the apps that I just showed you guys in the photos and video and YouTube studios um, will really, I feel like is really efficient. YouTube studios shows you about your analytics, um, you know, watch time. You know how many subscribers you have because you don't even need um what was it guys um sub count sub count is just like an extra add-on just to show you just your subscribers um youtube studio showed you all of that like your watch time um it also helps you you know keep trying keep keep count of the money you're making you could yeah it's just very efficient like super efficient it's a must-have it's a must-have y'all i can't talk it's a must-have if you're starting a YouTube channel or if you are a YouTuber already. Um, that's where I found out about it from the YouTubers that's already been doing this for a little minute. Yeah. And then on the next page, um, I just have the batteries widget and then I have the motivation widget. Um, Y'all, the motivation app, I feel like it's, it's... I have it on this phone and this phone. I feel like it's just... It kind of resonates with my life or I could say anyone's life because I feel like it's low key. Like, you know how people will be like, oh, I was just talking about a Mercedes Benz. Now it's on my TikTok. Now it's all over my For You page. I feel like it's the same thing here. Like, um, it says, remember that failure is an event, not a person. Um, and it's kind of resonating with me right now, y'all, because at my track meet, it went super bad. And my coach, he was like, oh, do you think you're a failure? Cause I got super upset. He was like, oh, do you think you're a failure? like yeah he was just telling me you know you gotta keep pushing keep doing this this and that and it kind of resonates because remember failure is an event not a person yeah yeah i wish i could show y'all abby right now y'all she look a little rough and i don't even want to do my sister like that because if any of y'all try to cover her we own it right yeah we own it she just shaking her head right now but the other apps that we have on here is we have instagram um follow me on instagram y'all kayla Najee. um i'm gonna set 3k yeah I ain't gonna say too much and then we have my spam y'all can follow my spam if y'all want to just inside scoop on my life and go on to say youtube updates and just anything in general just yeah request that not everybody gets in so you might want to slow your roll but if you if your page is private, you're definitely not getting in because I need to see who I'm letting into my private. You know what I'm saying? So if your page is private and my page is private, you're trying to get into my page. I'm not gonna refresh your page just to get into my to see who you are, so I can identify you to know who I'm putting in my page. We're not gonna do all that. 
yeah just letting you know that right now but yeah y'all that's my prime um i also have proof that tiktok or whatever y'all i don't really be on here tiktok is literally like i have like a thousand accounts tiktok is literally just a fun place for me it's super cool um it's like my little spam i go in there and spam every once in a while if i feel like oh let me let me be a part of this trend let me be a part of that trend me on that yeah and then youtube of course y'all um i really haven't um i really don't watch youtube i don't um but if i do i do have the certain people that i watch on youtube i do subscribe to them or you know i go and i just kind of binge that or binge you know whatever whatever yeah then we have twitter the chase app like i said y'all i'm always using apple pay and nine times out of ten i'm broke so <laughs> nine times out of ten i'm broke so my mom can speak for me but that's not that's nobody's business um, then we have Pinterest. I love me some Pinterest, y'all. Like, I really be on Pinterest for my Sims. Like, I'm always on here for Sims. Always. If you literally could see right now, that is literally all Sims. Um, literally. Sims. Um, I do have fonts. I do have saved fonts on here. Some of the fonts that I do plan on using in the future or I've used um, previously. Um, you will find a lot of fonts on there. Um, we also have Google Photos. I use Google Photos and Google Photos. Y'all need Google Photos because I never like back up my phone because I feel like there's no need. Um, if I get a new phone, I feel like why would I get a new phone, a new new number, everything, just whatever, whatever. But I don't even know if that may. We're not gonna worry about that. But um, yeah, Google Photos. Um, Let's just say you didn't back up your phone, but you had Google Photos. Nine times out of ten, all your photos back up into Google Photos. So once you put Google Photos in your new phone and you got a new phone, you can't access any of your photos and you don't want Google Photos and you just log into your email. All of your photos from your phone that have backed up into your Google Photos will be there. So you can go through, save them, you know, they'll be there. I feel like it's really essential to have because, child, my phone was always breaking never knew where photos were and so we got google photos all the photos are there i can't go in there because i don't know what's what y'all gonna see so we're just we're just gonna stay out of google photos yeah and then we have gmail gmail is super duper duper ooper 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 duper duper essential um youtube contacts me through there and i have like y'all don't have no no well, i'm not even going i don't have no promos no sponsorships but I just, it's just a super essential to me. Um, let's say I order something, it comes through. Um, I need to get through something, it comes through. Somebody try to hack my account, it comes to my phone. <sighs> super essential, y'all. And that's really it, y'all. I don't have nothing on this phone because I, be, I do the same stuff and I be on the same thing every day. Every single day. Ain't that right? She keeps shaking her head and y'all probably think I'm talking to myself. I'm not. Say hey. Hi. She's here. I'm not talking to myself. Because I know y'all probably like, is she crazy? She's, no one is talking back to her. But yeah, y'all. So that's all that's on my phone for right now. I just want to say, give a huge shout out to y'all again. Um, yes. For 1K. Well, 1.4. I just want to say thank you guys so much. Y'all have really pushed me to keep going. And I, you know. I'm excited to see what the future holds for not only me, but for us. And for the ones who was asking me, you know, what did I do? Um, any advice that I give to y'all for starting a YouTube channel? I just want to say be yourself. Don't let someone else who's, you know, bad energy get you out of the mood of doing what you want to do. Because I feel like that's very common. People, you will tell, you'll feel excited to tell someone like, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to start a YouTube channel. And they're like, oh, fuck you starting a YouTube channel for. You're not going to get nowhere. Don't let that bring you down. I use negativity as motivation. I do. Because people are people are gonna hate on you regardless. They're gonna hate. I look at them. Look at them. Fucking losers. Losers. I tell my sister all the time. People are gonna people are gonna mess with you. People are gonna hate on you. But it's your it's, it's your fuck. Fuck, I forgot what I was about to say. I have you sitting here trying to whisper to me what to say, y'all, but I forgot. But it's your choice if you want to listen to them or not. 
but for all the ones in the um in my comments telling me they want to start a youtube channel or you know that they are going to start a youtube channel let me go y'all need anything anything let me know let me know because i'd be quick to come in here and give y'all some advice about the stuff that i thought i knew and i didn't know and now i know but i just want to say if you are a upcoming youtuber and think, thinking about um starting a youtube channel i honestly feel like you should do it i'm pushing you you was pushing me now i'm pushing you and that, that's all i'm gonna say I ain't got nothing to say but y'all that's the end of this video um don't forget to like comment subscribe uh turn your post notification on to become i don't know what to call y'all i keep i keep saying to become part of da -da -da -da. give me some ideas in the comments y'all i don't know right now but uh hit the post notification bell to be notified whenever i post a video and y'all i'm gonna just keep it i'll just keep it at that yeah <laughs> all right y'all i'll talk to y'all later bye